Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing an unboxing of a sensory box. It's my birthday today, the 31st of May, here in the UK, and this box has been sitting here for like two weeks, and I've been like desperate to open it, but it's a birthday present, so I was waiting for my birthday. Um, it's by, the box is from Ali's Autumn Sensory Boxes. You can find them on Facebook, and it's in memory of their daughter, Ali, who passed away. Um, she had autism. And the boxes are personalised to you, so they send you a message and ask you what you like, dislike, it, like, you know, favourite colours, age, everything like that, and it's completely personalised to you. And it's come in this, like, black box here, and then it's got, um, their information on it. You probably it won't, won't focus, but it's got their Facebook page, and they also have an email address. It says, thank you so much for your order, we hope you enjoy it, if you like what you see leave a review on our Facebook page or post it and tag us. So what I'll do is probably move the camera down and show you what's in the box because it might be quite hard to see. There we go. Right. I've took the, the lid off the box and obviously it's got this cardboard on. I've never had one of these before so I'm just as excited as you guys. Let's move the cardboard away. And that one. Oh my god, guys, look how much stuff is in here. There is loads. So this is one of their um one of their large boxes. You can get loads of different size boxes. You can get small, medium, and large, and then they do like bags um and things like that. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Oh, I don't even know like where to start because there's just so much stuff. So you've got this one that's got a little is it a tiger? I think it's a tiger. It's probably not going to focus. Yeah, I think that's a tiger. More than a cat. But it's one of those things that's like really squishy and you can um, put your thumb in and things. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. Is there anything? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is called. If anyone knows what it's called, let me know. It's really cool though. Very, very squishy. Sorry about the focus guys, but because the objects are quite small, they probably won't focus. I'm just going to put them over here. The next thing are these. Are these like, um, I can't remember what they're called. They're like those like ladder things that you can put into different shapes. So there's one of those in it. It's hard to use with one hand though, so. But you can mould them into different shapes. They're quite good to fiddle with. They're attached by like string. Um, you could probably make some really good shapes with those. Let me put you guys back up and then I'll show you the objects. So yeah, we've done these two. So this one I can probably show you a bit more now that I've got a hand free. But essentially you can move... Ooh. I've seen them before but never used one. They've got little ridges on them so you can move them into... Um, certain shapes and they can make they're really good for fiddling actually like if you were being quite dis like discreet about it that's pretty cool okay <laughs> the next thing is one of these um you know the, the glitter balls and they've got like things inside them so this one oh the camera won't oh there you go See how it's got. I'm pretty sure that's like a little poo emoji, um, purple poo emoji. And if anyone didn't know, the poo emoji used, was supposed to be a um, scoop of chocolate ice cream, but people interpret it as a poo, so that's what it's become now. But it did, it was a scoop of ice cream, so that's how I'm going to see this. But I had um, these balls in one of my old sensory bags, and I said I needed to get some more. So it's amazing that one of these is in there because they're so sensory like the glitter shakes around in them and you know oh that's really cool i love that <laughs> the next one <laughs> this pink stuff is really cool as well next one is this little green neon sheep is it going to focus thing is with these cameras it always wants to focus on your face there we go there's a little sheep and i think it lights up um it's got like a oh there we go it's got a hard ball inside and it um, flashes all different colours and it's that really squishy like sort of silicone material 
So that's really cool, very visual. Small to carry around. So, and it's a sheep and I live in Wales, so it kind of represents that. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's really cool. Um, it's kind of like that ladder thing, but I'm not sure how it works. I don't want to break it. Hmm. I'm not really sure how, how you use this. I will figure it out though, probably at some point. Oh, me. I don't want to, yeah, you can kind of turn it into different shapes and things, but I don't want to mess around with it too much just in case I break it, but it's a nice blue and white colour fidget one that you could probably mould into different shapes, so that's really cool. The next thing is a fidget cube. And obviously most people have seen these, but they've got different, I haven't seen this one before, like the clicker button, that's pretty cool. Got the wheel on it, it's got an on and off switch, that's pretty cool. It's got these buttons and then ones that you move up and down and a wheel. They're good because they meet loads of different um, sensory feels. Next one, literally love these, is a tangle. I have loads of tangles and I absolutely love them, but I haven't even, I haven't got this tangle, this rainbow tangle, which is lush and is really smooth. Um, it's quite small as well, which is good because um, I used to always do that. I used to like knot them around my wrist like that and hold that bit and carry it with me, and then people don't tend to notice that you've even got one. Um, but literally, these are never gonna grow old for me. Like these are amazing. Like there's so many different uses. You know, they can come apart, they're small to carry around and fidget with. They're amazing, so I love that. And I love that everything in the box is like multicoloured and like rainbow. So the next thing, well, she's put some sort of sensory textures in as well, other than the sensory toys. So you've got like this little um, yellow soft pom-pom and some feathers for like sort of touch and things they'd be good for like sensory stories um they're really nice very vibrant colors i wouldn't even think about putting them in so that's an amazing idea i love those next thing is one of these yellow tubes someone in one of my um videos did actually put in the comments what these are called but i can't remember off the top of my head but they're very stretchy um, you know, you can wrap them around things, tie them to things. I know some people use them to tie sensory stuff to bags and things. And they're also that really soft silicone material that feels nice when you run them through your hands. So that's cool. And it's a really nice colour. The yellow one. Oh my god. I'm going to leave that one to last because it's literally like my favourite. Okay. This one is a Chewy. Oh, there's a safety cord on it. Um, I haven't actually seen one of these ones. It's got like the, the two um, sort of safety latches on them and you can change the length of it sort of thing. I haven't seen one like that before but it's a yellow Lego Chewy. So it's got the yellow bricks on the front and it's obviously made of silicone. It's really nice to touch and then on the back it's got a textured bit with like the dots, the textured dots. One of my old Chewies does have one of these dots on it and they're really nice, like it's a really good texture. It's really um, like hard as well, which is nice. It's not too soft of a Chewy, but it's still quite bendy and it's a good shape, so I really like that. Okay, these next ones are in packages. So, let's have a look. Okay. I can see why they're in packages because they're that really sticky. Um, I have a ball similar to this, but it's really big and it's really sticky. And I have to keep it in a food bag because it just it would stick to everything. Oh my god, that's amazing! Look at the colours on this. Please focus. Look at the colours in this ball. Like there's some sort of um, like this sort of material like inside there, but like green when you squeeze it it's all run like moving around the water and like reflecting oh my god i love that oh look at that that's a oh. that is lush i'm gonna keep them in these bags if i can so that they don't stick to everything 
quite then there's this little yellow one. Oh, I think it's a pig. <laughs> yeah, it's a little pig. It's so cute. I love how all the stuff in here as well is like really neon and vibrant and here's the like little beads in these. They feel really cool as well. Oh my god. Wow, it's lush. It's got little legs. <laughs> he's got little legs. I think it's a pig, <laughs> but he's very. It's very squishy. I would be very careful with him. I wouldn't want to burst him. Um, I'm going to try and keep him in this bag again, even though you've got to tear it open, because it is really sticky material. So I don't want them getting stuck to everything. Oh my god, I thought that was it. Like, not, there's two more, but I thought that was it. But there is actually a third one in here that's the same colour as the string that got mixed in. So this is a unicorn, I believe. Like a silicone unicorn. Um, and it's very flexible, stretchy. I think, like, if your wrist was small enough, mine's not. Um, you could probably wear it as a bracelet, but it's really cool to... To fidget with and it's in a nice little shape is it is probably a horse um it looks like a unicorn to me but it might be a horse whichever you want really the next one is this big dolphin i think it's a dolphin two sets Yeah, it's a dolphin. Oh, they're so sticky. Like, his hand is stuck to the um thing. But I love the feel of these. Like, they feel amazing. He's got, like, a little... His little tail and his fins. And he's that same sort of... The white beads when you squeeze. He's got a cute little face. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And they're really cold, these sort of things as well. So... They feel nice on your face and stuff. <laughs> His little fins keep getting stuck to him underneath because he's so sticky. <laughs> we'll put him back in the packaging. And then the last thing, and I saved it for last because it's literally like my favourite thing. And it's like this whole room is covered in dinosaurs. But it's a pink Triceratops. And Triceratops is also my favourite dinosaur. So... And she didn't even know that I like dinosaurs, so this is like amazing. Um, but here's little triceratops, pink triceratops. And when you squeeze it, all the balls come out. And oh my god, they're multicoloured as well. This is like my favourite thing. This is going to go like everywhere with me. It's, yeah, it's a pink triceratops. And then when you squeeze it, all the, the balls come out. <laughs> That's so cute. And it's quite small as well and fits in your hand so you can carry it around wherever you go. Oh, I'm so excited. So that's what was in my box. As you can see, um, they put loads of things in the box, loads of different textures, um, things that you can chew, things that you can fiddle with, um, more sensory based objects, um, you know, and you can tell them like specific things that you want in there or like. You can also um, specify that you want larger items, like especially if you have a child with autism that likes to put things in their mouth. Um, you obviously wouldn't want really small toys that they're, you know, probably like this that they might eat. Um, and they're all very personalised to the person. So I think this is like an amazing idea. I'll put their link to their Facebook page in the description box if you guys want to get one for yourself they are a uk based shop um and i hope you enjoyed opening this video with me and i can't wait to actually use all of the sensory toys in here like this is literally perfect thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next week thanks guys bye